up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 volvo xc90 courtesy of younger volvo cars of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because there is a brand new color for 2024 and i'll give you guys a hint we have it today so that is wonderful and this thing is actually built and assembled in Sweden still to this day so that's always pretty exciting and it's an IIHS top safety big plus so it's got the very best safety and so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2024 xc90 first one being the core starting at fifty six thousand dollars even plus for sixty three thousand four hundred dollars and lastly the ultimate for sixty nine thousand four hundred dollars and that was all pricing for the b5 engine which actually is the one that we have today but there is a slightly more powerful b6 engine configuration if you wanted to go with the slightly more powerful engine simply add forty nine hundred dollars then to any of those prices but as I alluded to, there are two different engine configurations for the XC90. First one is going to be powered by a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with a mild hybrid system. This one puts out 247 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,500 RPM. That power being sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.3 seconds for this one with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is that other engine configuration that one of course belonging to the b6 configuration that one's powered by the exact same engine but cranking out more power though coming in at 295 horsepower at 5700 rpm 310 pound feet of torque coming in at 2200 rpm and again that power is sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time for that one a almost a full second quicker actually coming in at 6.4 seconds with mpg numbers then coming in at 20 in the city 26 on the highway yet again taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in an xc90 i wanted to mention you guys the drive modes essentially there are two of them there's an off-road mode and all of this is accessed through the nine inch infotainment screen which i'll be covering a little bit later in the video but you got the off-road mode and then you also have a steering feel firm mode so i'm actually going to go ahead and hit that one because i can tell you right off the bat the steering feel is super loose right now and that is not something that is to my preference of course so we have that driving mode you have the option to put it on whatever you want but yeah i'm going to put that on a firm steering feel here and now having done that let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the xc90 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our b5 engine configuration here up to speed all right so here we go we found our straightaway if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and here we go in three two one go Whee! all right i will say i drove the b6 last year this is definitely you can feel it's a bit slower than the b6 for sure it's a noticeable difference i will say that having said that though you're not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway that's for sure and the cool thing about the mild hybrid system is even though this is a turbocharged engine the mild hybrid system assists kind of with that lack of turbo lag traditionally you're going to have a little bit of turbo lag there's going to be a little bit of a delay to the acceleration but with a mild hybrid system you get that instant punch on the get-go from zero basically so that is a pretty cool setup, I will say, with the Volvo engines that they have now. So anyways, perfectly fine with the acceleration. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that actually comes in at an insanely impressive 113 feet. And why is that insanely impressive? Let me give you a couple comparisons real quick here. Traditionally, three row SUVs will come in in the 130s. Two row SUVs typically in the upper 120s. 113 feet, that is sports sedan good. That is an incredible braking number. And I guess it goes along with Volvo's reputation for excellent safety because that is going to bring you to an insanely quick stop. So if somebody breaks in front of you and you need to come to a quick stop, 
this is one of the best SUVs to do it in because 113 feet is an excellent number. And that's really shown in the braking feel itself because with this XC90, it is an incredibly firm braking feel as you traditionally do not find in SUVs. A lot of times in SUVs, it's a super soft and sometimes even squishy braking feel. And you can feel it takes longer to come to a stop. But with this thing, instantly bringing you to a stop. So I love that in terms of safety, but I also love it in terms of driving dynamics because it really does give you that feeling of being more in control of this thing. But anyways, the touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an unequal length control arm front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, as we are cruising over these freshly paved roads here in Hagerstown, it has been perfectly fine, so absolutely no issues there. As far as steering feel goes, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, it is going to adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. There is a firm steering feel mode. And then if you don't put it in that, I can say it is an extremely loose steering feel as you traditionally will find in three row SUVs. I'll put it that way. So it's as expected if you don't put it in that mode, but you can firm it up a good bit to a very comfortable point for my personal liking. So I absolutely love that. As far as cabin noise goes, that's been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today. So absolutely no issues there. Touching on visibility, I will say we have the third row up right now, and those third row headrests are quite beefy, but if you didn't have any third row passengers, I would probably recommend to go ahead and just put that down, and you can see perfectly fine then out the rear view mirror, so you shouldn't have any issues there. Rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard, so if this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you, so that's definitely very nice. And if you wanted a head-up display, simply go with that ultimate trim level, but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Volvo XC90. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Volvo XC90, finished in the new color for 2024, and that is called Vapor Gray. So that is what you guys are looking at. It's kind of like a grayish, slight green or sage mix to it. So it looks pretty darn good. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the XC90 is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter Y, indicating that the new XC90 is still built and assembled in Sweden. Gotta love it. So let's go ahead and start up front. LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights does come standard. Automatic feature coming with that as well, along with automatic high beams, meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically then bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So I love that. Volvo signature front grille with either a bright or dark finish, chrome being the bright finish, of course, gloss black being the dark finish. And then down below, you guys can see it, we actually do have LED fog lights with the cornering function. I love that. So when you're going around a bend at night, those fog lights are actually going to swivel a little bit based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend. So you're less likely to hit an uh, animal or a cyclist or a person or whatever the case. So I think that's a pretty cool safety feature in typical Volvo fashion, of course. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Volvo here. Silver roof rails do come standard on the XC90, of course. You will find chrome windows surround coming standard with that as well. Rear privacy glass also coming standard across the board. Body colored side skirts and fender surrounds. I want to emphasize this because even on luxury brands, so many SUVs don't give you that. It's traditionally finished in a matte black, but the high-end finishes are of course always body colored and that's why the XC90 looks so dang good in my personal opinion. But illuminated door handles actually also come standard as well. You will find body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals as well. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, you're gonna find 19 inch six spoke alloys for the core, 20 inch 10 spoke black diamond cut alloys for the plus. And by the way, we do have the plus trim level. So that is what you guys are looking at. And then 21 inch, multi-spoke diamond cut alloys for the ultimate but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now here we are as i climb into the tall grass here for you guys all the way to the top body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper you got the volvo lettering spelled out horizontally of course that definitely looks good and believe it or not i'm not going to be able to show it to you guys right now but i'll do a b-roll clip for you there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away underneath so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
All right, so now since we are around to the back of the XC90, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate for every single trim level across the board. So that comes standard on the XC90, I love that. Once opened up though, cargo capacity comes in at 15.8 cubic feet behind that third row. If you were to fold that third row down, it's gonna bump that up to 41.8 cubic feet. And then with all rows folded, it's gonna come in at a pretty impressive 85.7 cubic feet, which is roughly the size of a Toyota Highlander or a Honda Pilot or something like that. But anyways, seats do fold completely flat into the floor as well. I definitely liked seeing that. There's a 12 volt power outlet back there. You got LED cargo lighting. There's some grocery bag hooks. There's chrome plated tie down anchors. There's a little cargo strap. You got a little bit of storage to the sides. It's actually a first aid kit back there as well. That's pretty cool. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire and probably enough space to put maybe an ice scraper or something like that within there as well. But then making our way up to the third row legroom, that's going to come in at 31.9 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there and by the way the third row does seat two passengers sometimes three row suv seat three so i just wanted to specify that but re-ventilation does come standard for all three rows i love to that you can find some cup holders for those third row passengers as well and right next to that cup holder you're going to find a little bit of storage but if you look on the flip side of that storage cover you're actually going to see a nice little happy spider etched into the back side of that so that's typically what i like to see on the back side of a cover is a happy spider as opposed to an upset or angry spider because then those ones can be dangerous but then making our way up to the second row legroom that is going to come in at 37 inches even again for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there four zone climate control is going to come standard i love that so both driver passenger and both rear passengers can set their own temperatures heated rear seats are available with a climate package that goes for approximately 750 dollars can find dual phone charging ports for those second row passengers as well and your choice of either bench seating or captain's chairs now i had the captain's chair set up last year this year i'm showing you guys the bench seating which does have a center armrest with cup holders which of course the captain's chairs won't have but overall everything is laid out perfectly fine there in the second row but then making our way up to the front seats eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard on the xc90 i like that memory settings for up to three different drivers also come standard on this thing leather seating is going to come standard heated front seats are going to come standard the flag of sweden found on the passenger seat is going to come standard as well and there is perforated and ventilated front seats available and yet another little cool feature i like on the uh, volvo xc90 is on the seat belt itself it says since 1959 i thought that was a nice little added touch it's all about the attention to detail like the flag of sweden like the since 1959 those things are what make the xc90 pretty darn cool in my opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is manually adjustable leather wrapped and two-toned that's something that volvo has done for a while now i think that's a pretty cool two-tone look and yet again it is available as a heated steering wheel with that climate package that i previously mentioned but so then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you got your volvo logo on the one side when you flip it over absolutely nothing because the rest of your buttons are on the side of the key you got lock unlock and that power tailgate button as well but it is all keyless entry with a turn knob start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn the knob to the right and by the way to turn this thing off you also put your foot on the brake and turn the knob to the right so it's always to the right but once started up taking a look at the gauges 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster will come standard for all trim levels you have the ability to display navigation in the middle of it all as well but we don't have the location turned on quite yet because this xc90 is brand new to the dealership so i'm not able to show you guys that but it's kind of reminiscent to what bmw does honestly but speedometers on your left with a digital speedometer within their tachometers on your right you can display the outside tachometer temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty it's a digital gauge cluster so it pretty much gives you everything you want to know but then making our way to overall interior quality a panoramic roof will come standard believe it or not i love that aluminum trim inlays are going to come standard however wood trim inlays like we have today are available i like that look frameless rear view mirror with home light controls will come standard by the way that's up to three different garage doors there if you go with the ultimate trim the shifter that you're going to get is an or fours crystal shifter otherwise you're going to get what we currently have in this one today which is perfectly fine but another cool thing i really like that volvo does in the xc90 is there is only like seven or eight buttons in the interior of this entire vehicle but there is one button 
button located all the way to the right here in the center display. If you press that, it's going to open up the passenger side glove box. And so traditionally there's a handle on the glove box, but in the XC90, there is a button. And then once opened up, it's finished in like this smooth velvet kind of surface and there's two layers as well but pretty cool glove box setup if i do say so myself also the optional harman kardon sound system that we're going to be testing out here in a little bit it's finished in aluminum speaker covers it's a very high-end look as well just in front of the shifter you do have a little bit of a tiny bit of storage there to the right of the shifter you got a couple cup holders you got a 12 volt power outlet lecture mechanical parking brake and within the center armrest, a little bit more storage with that velvet finish. Again, I love that. And a couple phone charging ports in there as well. So overall, interior quality is definitely perfectly fine. But now, let's go ahead and take a look at that infotainment screen. A 9-inch color touchscreen display, tablet style. It does come standard. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system does come standard as well. You can check out your climate control settings up there. You can adjust your steering sensitivity or that off-road drive mode up there as well. And of course, your radio information. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. You got a standard 10 speaker sound system with 224 watts. That's what you get that just comes standard on this thing. But there is an optional 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that goes for only $800. A lot of times optional sound systems will run up to three or 4,000 dollars so 800 is not that bad and that comes with 600 watts and that is the one that we have today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one that's a really good sound system for the xc90 i'm not gonna lie plenty of bass it was really rumbling the seat a little bit it wasn't too much bass but it was just the right amount clarity was fine as well one of the best things about this infotainment screen is to find the station it was so buttery smooth it was almost even better than a cell phone it was so buttery smooth to like just scroll through the stations in sirius xm here so absolutely love the way this infotainment screen works but last thing i wanted to mention to you on the infotainment screen is when you do put the xc90 in reverse you will find a very high definition rear view camera but you also get a 360 degree monitor as well which is always is going to lead us into safety and so as i mentioned at the beginning of the video IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which by the way is the very highest designation given by IIHS. That pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, rear collision warning, and speed limit recognition then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the XC90, incredible safety in this thing you can't beat an IIHS top safety pick plus I love that also love the little I guess you can call them Easter eggs like you got that flag of Sweden you got the since 1959 on the seat belts it's all about the attention to detail for me that really separates the XC90 from some of the competition so big fan of that the braking is incredible 60 to 0 and 113 feet it's an extremely firm braking feel as well so it does instantly bring you to a stop so it gives you a lot of confidence when you need to come to that quick stop so i love that as well like the digital gauges as well as far as room for improvement goes i didn't see a wireless phone charger anywhere on there so i'm not sure if that's even available on the xc90 but i would probably think about adding that and of course if you take a look at consumer reports reliability is uh not the best i'll just put it that way so feel free to check out that magazine if you like but let me know what you guys think in the new 2024 xc90 in the comment section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold